Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to the FIFA 20 Sunderland Career Mode, episode number 6. So in the last one, obviously there was an update to FIFA 20 Career Mode and obviously the patch of redemption because we are comfortably sitting top of League 1. Currently unbeaten with 11 games played, 11 wins and 33 points. So... Should things continue the way they are, I will make the series more difficult by increasing difficulty and changing sliders accordingly. But as things stand, I'm leaving everything as it is. Now, I would like to point out that I've done a little bit more modding. And this modding is the primarily the kit. So I've updated the kits accordingly to what they need, like to sort of fix the issue, fix the issue with the goalkeeper kit. So quickly switching to the bottom right. Um, obviously there was, a, there was a bit of a technical issue there, don't mind that. But uh, yeah, there was. A, um, I've done a little bit more modding and I've sort of fixed the goalkeeper kit to from what it was back in episode 5 to what it is now in episode 6. So this is the new goalkeeper kit. I've also modified the home kit accordingly. So on the back now, there's going to be um, like a, a white space. It's kind of like... I've tried to keep it as similar as possible to the original home kit, but I've made it stand out a bit more so I can actually see the players that I'm controlling. So that's basically what I've done in that respect. Um, as for, obviously, other things I've modded is the mini kits, as you can see on screen right now. So the, the mini kits right here have changed accordingly to, you know, I've changed those, created those and changed those to what they should be in-game. So everything, you know, everything looks as if it's like for our realistic and stuff like that, like legit. No, it's actually not. It's it's an actual mod, but yeah. So while we're talking about this, might as well get into the game. So we have a game against Lincoln City, um, who I believe are close behind us in the table. But yeah, we're going to go with the modified away kit. Um, but there is one question I would like to ask. If you want me to keep the away kit blue... I can mod it. I can create a, a different, like a different kit that was similar to the to the away kit that we had. Um, but obviously, I'd have to change this the tint of the blue if that makes sense. I wouldn't make it like cyan or turquoise. It would still be that you know that kind of blue that we had, that royal blue that we had. Um, but if you know if you want me to keep this current away kit, then I'm more than happy to do that. If you want me to go back to the original blue kit and sort of tweak that a little bit to make it better for my color blindness then please let me know in the comment section down below but yeah lincoln city away from home let's get into this all right so i thought i'd let the players walk out of the tunnel um just to see like just so you guys get to see what it what the kits actually look like in game and to be perfectly honest they don't actually look that bad like i think i've done a pretty good job in photoshop here of modifying the kits accordingly um and changing everything as such but yeah like I'm happy, like I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm very happy with how thing, how the kits have turned out and how things look. You know, it, it, it matches, it, it does match, sort of like the, the presentation of the game and everything as such. So, like I said, happy with how the kits turned out. Let's just, let's just jump into it. Straight away, Lincoln on the attack, and they've hit the bloody bar. Ozturk, get that clear, get that clear, get that bloody clear. There we go. What I've also done in a program called R, uh, RDBM, um, which is Revolution Database Manager, um, I've changed the score that. Oh, unlucky! I've changed the um, the little scoreboard color there to obviously because that was blue. What uh, after I modified the kits in the last episode, um, you know the the color, the little gray bar there next to next to the Sunderland next to Sun in the scoreboard there, that was that was still blue. So what I've done is. I've gone into the actual database table and I've just changed that, just, just changed that color entry. So things are looking a little bit more, you know, plausible now <laughs> to sort of fit the modded kits. Lincoln coming down this left hand side with Grant. He's going to swing this in, but there's no one at the back post. There's no one actually there that fucked that up. They have royally screwed that up. Lincoln coming down this right hand side with Anderson. McLaughlin headers that away. Kim York cannot get his head on that. Kim York is just not good enough right now. Um, but I want, like I say, I want to give him game time because of the whole dynamic potential sort of thing. So, you know, I just want to get rid of that, please. So, yeah, I just want to give him game time. We're playing like absolute donkeys right now. Joe Lynch, good defensive positioning. 
Lincoln City love their blood. Lincoln City are loving their wing play right now. Joe Lynch, good, good strength. Wait, what? That's a free kick to them. Wait, hang on. That was not a foul. What do you mean? That was no way. That was not a foul, my guy. That was not a foul. That was not a foul. <laughs> the box. Oh, Joe Lynch has had it. Go. Oh, what a fucking title. The box. Give it away again. They've scored here. Yep. Oh my god. What the. Right, Lawrence de Bock is an absolute pleb. Lawrence de Bock is an absolute pleb. He's given away so many times in this first half, and that happens. Lawrence de Bock is an absolute specialton. Gooch. This is good play. What more? Into McNulty. What more? What more? Should have finished that. Should have finished that. We're stretched too. Th we're stretched too wide. Conor McLaughlin not watching his man, but we're stretched far too wide. Like, why is this a thing? No one making any forward runs. Kim Yoko just keep running. Just keep running. Gooch at the back post. Gooch. Oh! <laughs> What a finish! What an absolute finish from Lyndon Gooch! Oh my word! Oh my absolute god! What a finish! Lyndon Gooch! It's in off the post, obviously, but... The fact that he had the extravagance to try that, the confidence to try that... 1-1! <sighs> This is beautiful play. Oh my god. This is absolutely beautiful. This is beautiful. That's a foul. Really though. Duncan want more. See McNulty. McNulty. Gooch. Keeps it alive. Max power. With a volley. Keep it alive, keep it alive, keep it alive. What more? Duncan. That's a free kick to them. I can't see us actually winning this. But, you know what? Gooch with something. McGeoch into power. Max power! It's a hell of a save by Vickers. Come on. We need something done with this corner. It's Lyndon Gooch. Oz Turk into McGeady. Aiden McGeady! He's done it! He's actually done it! The super sub has come on! Well, the super sub for the second team has come on. <laughs> and he's actually put it through the keeper's legs. And he's given us the three points in the final dying seconds. Aiden McGeady with a fantastic finish. Oh my word! I think it was through the keeper's legs. It wasn't. It was just to the keeper's right. What a finish, Aiden McGeady. Yes! So your man of the match was Benjamin Kimpioka. 9.3 rating there. Was substituted for Aiden McGeady um, about halfway through the second half. But there, like you say, we got decent performance there from everyone. Lawrence Buck there somehow managed to get a 7.7. .7, but you know what it is. Three points. McGeady, absolute hero. Absolute hero. Aiden McGeady, thank you very much. So we've got a simmed game now against Cheltenham Town. It is in the Leasing.com trophy, which used to be the Checker Trade trophy, uh, which is like a League 1 and League 2 kind of, you know, silverware trophy kind of thing as, as it goes on throughout the season. But yeah, Sunderland versus Cheltenham. I'm, you know, I've gone with the strongest team we can just so we can sim this one. And it's a 2-1 win. Maguire and Greenwood getting the goals. I'm, again, I'm hoping that we're through at the next round.
So International Duty has struck during this game against Fleetwood. It's the second same game of the episode and the third game of the episode. So we hit advance and hopefully the third, second, third string side can do bits and it can. 2-1 victory again. Um, Greenwood again getting another goal in this episode and led better. So I'm okay. I'm, I'm genuinely... I'm genuinely happy with how things are going in this um, in the career mode since the since the patch. I'm, I'm I'm really happy with that. And we have a game now against Wickham Wanderers. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in our changed home kit now. Um, going with a full string side. Bear in mind, Wickham Wanderers are twenty first in the table, so this should, on paper, be an easy game. But this is FIFA, so we never know what might happen. Wickham coming forward down this left hand side here. That's extravagantly cleared by Jordan Willis. Denver Hume. Into Grigg. Into Mason Greenwood. This is really good breakaway play by Greenwood. Cuts onto his right foot. It's Mason Greenwood. And the shot is saved by Ozzo, but it's picked up by McGeady, who's offside. What a ball. Not gonna lie, what an absolute ball. Wickham is straight through if they can make this count, but that was the wrong choice. That was the wrong choice. Denver Hume giving it away. Do not appreciate. Good block again, Jordan Willis. George Dobson, can he get it away? No, he can't. It's still with Wickham. It's picked up by Luke on nine. McGeady coming away. Into Luke on nine. This is a counter attack and a half. Luke on nine. Getting forward. Can he get his shot off? He can. It's Will Gregg on the rebound. I genuinely thought he'd screwed that up. I genuinely thought we'd... we. I genuinely thought we'd screwed that up, lads. <laughs> but we haven't. It's Will Gregg. It's 1-0. Um, obviously, really good counter-attack by Sunderland. Um, obviously, 0-9 and McGeady there linking up down the right-hand side. Getting the ball. Getting his shot off. Getting the ball into Gregg. It, 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 it does kindly fall to Gregg. Um, but it's a really good first touch. He's managed it. He's managed to control it and slot it away. Why is that pass going there? I didn't. I didn't want that. Why is our left like? Why are our left backs being absolute donkeys today? Jordan Willis, really good defending. D what is this? Denver Hume of all. Pl That's a free kick. That's a foul! That's a foul! Ref! Are you blind, bruv? Greg into Greenwood. On the left foot. This is a good save. Greenwood picks this up. Will Greg. William Greg on his right foot. Greenwood gets in the way. It's fallen back to Maguire. Back to Ledbetter. And that's a corner. Which I'll happily take from that passage of play. Oh, nine swings this in. Mason Greenwood! And it's 2 0. Mason Greenwood, not with the fantastic connection on the header, but it was enough to loop it over the defender and the keeper and into the back of the net. That was beautiful. Look at nine over the top for McGeady. McGeady. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that would have been nice. That would have been nice straight from kickoff. Like, I'm not going to lie. Ledbetter. Maguire. Grigg. Greenwood. Back into Grigg. This is well played. This is well played. That was well. That was beautiful. That was well worked. That was incredible play between Grigg and Greenwood. I think we're finally starting to find our rhythm, lads. I think we're finding our rhythm. This is like Greg holding up the ball. Greenwood, first touch. Back into Greg. Bang. Good finish. 3-0. Wickham coming forward again. This like this episode just loves their wing play. Like, let's be perfectly honest. Like, I've noticed that Wickham and Lincoln City both, you know, they 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 like their they liked their wingers. They like they like their wing play. All right, similar position to the third goal, Greg into Greenwood. 
Mason Greenwood. <laughs> it's another free kick executed. And it's 4-0. Mason Greenwood getting yet another goal in this episode. We are running riot against Wickham, lads. We're absolutely running riot. Will Grigg with fantastic hold-up play yet again. Greenwood deciding he'll go on this time himself and getting himself another goal. McGeady. Into Greenwood. Back into McGeady. Aiden McGeady. Into Will Grigg. It's five. It's five. <laughs> Lads, this could this this could be embarrassing. This this well it's already embarrassing for Wickham, but it could be worse. Will Grigg and Greenwood linking up beautifully down the right hand side. Will Grigg to just slot it past the defender, shadowing him out and onto the left foot. Lads. I wonder how many I actually wonder how many goals we can score. Alright, free kick, Jordan Willis. Into Greenwood into Greg, Greg with a fake shot to get past his man, that's a free kick referee, that's another free kick referee, ref, <laughs> what is this episode lads, what is this episode, alright, Denver Hume to sort of put this game beyond any doubt, Denver Hume, it's saved, it's either saved or it's off the bar. <sighs> Unlucky. Maguire winning that back. Greenwood. Back into Chris Maguire. He's got the strength to get that back. It's Chris Maguire. It's Chris Maguire. <laughs> A very soft finish for six. <laughs> it's six. How have we been allowed to score six? How have we been allowed to score six goals in this match? Like... <laughs> oh, wow. Wickham Wanderers still trying to come forward. Trying to get a consolation goal, I suppose. Luke and nine, good defending. Flanagan comes away with the ball there. McGeady plays a 1-2 with Greenwood. And look at the space he's in. Look at the absolute space Aidan McGeady has to run in. He sees Chris Maguire at the back post. It's a really, really bad header. It's a really, really bad header. I was expecting to volley that, actually. But the amount of space that we're getting in the in the midfield right now is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Like, look at this. Boom, straight over the top. You know what I mean? Like... It's it's releasing options. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the pass wasn't wasn't great from Dobson, um, but you know, it's like look at that. They're giving the ball away. It's it's self inflicted. It's genuinely self inflicted, like pain, and it's it's a six nil win. It's it's a six nil win, lads. So your man of the match was Will Greg with a 10 rating, Mason Greenwood with a 9.6, Aidan McGeady there 8.9. Everyone played really really well. Um, you know, I didn't make any substitutions because I didn't feel like we needed to. Obviously, 6-0 up. Um, you know, I felt like we could have gone for, like, I think we genuinely could have got 8, 9, or 10 if we'd actually put our chances away, like the Chris Maguire chance where his header was really bad. Um, but, you know what? We we could have had, like I said, we could have had more. But 6-0 victory over Wickham Wanderers, lads. Will Grigg, man of the match. What more can you ask for? And the last game of the episode, guys, is against Tranmere Rovers. It's the same game at the Stadium of Light in League One. And it's a 3-1 victory. Joel Lynch there picking up an injury, which is not a good thing. I really hope it's not a bad one. But Conor McLaughlin, Benjamin Kim Yoga, and Lyndon Gooch getting the goals. So, updating facts and figures. Go into my inbox. And Joel Lynch is out for six weeks. Bastard. That's, you know what, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Lee Burge there, um, thanks for showing faith in me despite not being one of the top players at the club. Uh, I'm proud of you, man. I'm, pr I'm proud of the way Lee Burge is handling some of the situations that, you know, he's come up against. But, Joel Lynch there picking up an injury. Six-week injury. So, I guess I'll have to stick Bain Bainbridge in. Um, you know, that that's fine. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just rotate the squad and stick, uh, stick Jack Bainbridge in. So this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. We are still having a really good run 
in League One, as you can see, played 15, won 15, scored 46. Those six goals against Wickham Wanderers being very, very, you know, crucial, I suppose, to our goal difference. We have a goal difference of 40. Um, so I think in the, like over the next few episodes, I'll consider upping the difficulty. Uh, your player of the episode is in, like is either going to be Will Grigg, Mason Greenwood, or Aidan McGeady. Please um, vote in the poll in the top right hand corner for that. I would love to obviously get your opinion on the player of the episode. Um, player of the episode is sort of like a new concept that you know I've decided to um, invest in. You know I've taken inspiration from a few other YouTubers on that one. Um, but yeah. Mason Greenwood picked up quite a few goals. Will Grigg there with the performance against Wickham. Uh, Aidan McGeady as well. You know, his performance against Wickham Wanderers and in the Sim games as well has been fantastic. He picked up a few goals as well. So I just want to get your opinion on the player of the episode. Um, obviously, if you guys like that concept, I will continue it over the, over the course of the episode, over the course of the series. Um, but yeah, pull in top right-hand corner. Vote for that. Vote on that. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching guys if you have enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up be greatly appreciated if you're new around here hit that big red button underneath the video it massively helps me out make sure to hit the notifications bell as well so you're notified for future episodes of the sun and korea mode like i say guys thanks for watching and i will see you later